Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at uh, nested namespaces again. But instead of doing them like we did in the last tutorial, we're going to look at a better and easier to understand way. So we'll go ahead and just delete this code right here. And we'll delete this too. Now let's come back into our people.vb file and you can see that we have namespace, all people, uh, other people, and friends um, all nested inside of all people. Now there is an easier way to do this. So what we can do is let's go ahead and take out this right here. And we'll come back up to the top and here is our namespace people okay so now we have namespace people and other people and friends now what we can do is we could take um, functions or we could take classes I mean and put them inside of all people and allow all of the other classes inside of other people and friends to in what's called inherit those uh, classes from the all people. Now we'll be talking about inheritance in probably a couple tutorials from now. Um, so let's go ahead and make some changes to this code uh, so you guys know what I, I'm talking about about nesting the um, the namespaces. So you see here we have namespace all people and other people. Now what we want to do to nest this is type namespace all people dot other people. And then we'll go ahead and do it again right here. So now this namespace right here is pretty much part of the all people namespace. So whatever classes uh, are put inside of this, these classes can inherit from those too. And now this probably confuses you, the term inheritance, but we'll be talking about that soon. And um, after we've done that, you can come back to this and use inheritance to uh, make this code a little bit easier to uh, work with and understand. Okay, so now we have all people.friends and all people.other people. So we can come in here and let's just create an other people uh, object. So private my person as new, and then we're going to type all people.other people. So we've created an object of the people class from other people, which is right here. And it has nothing to do with this people class uh, down here in friends. So let's come in here and we will access the button one click. So we'll type my person dot first name equals text first name dot text uh, my person dot last name equals text last name dot text and they'll go ahead and show that out so message box my person dot to string and we'll go ahead and run this so we can type the first name um, Tom and last name uh, let's just say let's just do Harris again okay so we'll go ahead and click show person and you can see that we get Tom Harris right here and the title is namespaces so we'll just go ahead and click OK so go ahead and practice a little bit more with uh, nesting namespaces so that um, you can organize your classes better and I would recommend using this type of nesting namespaces over um, just putting them inside of each other because that can get a little confusing and when you use this uh, it makes it a lot easier to understand. So go ahead and practice that a bit, and then once you've got that down, move on to the next tutorial.